This week we are giving away a mesh packing cube. This one is coyote in color. Uh, these are 12 by 12 by about four inches deep. I can successfully fit about two weeks worth of clothes into one of these things. They are super, super handy to have. And roll that intro. Hey, what's up guys? Happy New Year. Welcome to the Blue Ridge Bonfire. I'm CT. And I'm present. So we are the official show of Blue Ridge Overland Gear, and uh, we're all about overcoming the obstacles to getting outside. You know how you overcome obstacles outside? Jumping over them. Four wheel drive. Oh, bo, 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 bo. I thought luck. that was a given. Okay, so uh, this week we are going to be talking about uh, what's new, you know, the new things in the shop that we have going on. Uh, also some events that we have coming up. That is one of our new winter patches. We're gonna show you that a little closer here shortly. Uh, we have a question of the week, which pertains to re-gearing your vehicle or to not re-gear. Yes, I, I actually wanna know question. more. So Adam's done it a lot. He's gonna talk all about that. Been a few times. Uh, then we have our broad gear releases coming up and then our weekly giveaway. So definitely stay tuned for that. So let's jump right into it. What's new CT? Okay, I can answer that. So we have these new winter themed. Can we get closer? Blue Adrenaline gear patches. Here. Bam! Boom, there it is. Look at that. Boom, there it is. Mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on. And this, so it goes great. It goes with our. Uh, you want to collect the whole set. Our fall color. So we have the winter one here and the fall one on top. Boom. You can get it on our website and all winter long um, for any order over $150 you're gonna get one of these for free. Um, so it w unfortunately it won't show you in checkout, but we will know and we will send it to you. And that is our promise. Mm -hmm. So winter patches, everybody. They say, don't just sit there, get outside. Outside. So we're starting a new series called Overland Trip Planning. It just kicked off yesterday. Um, it's gonna be a whole series of videos talking about how to catch your vehicle and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So link in description, or actually link up here in the corner for the first one. Um, and uh, go ahead and check that out and we'll have more coming soon. Um, and then, guys, we finally are officially on Apple Podcasts. Ooh, we fancy. So fancy. We're bougie. Um, so head on over there to subscribe or wherever you guys like to listen. And uh, I think that wraps it up for new stuff. Mm. And that takes us to the events. Oh. We have our new events page where we're listing out um, events all around the country and all throughout the year. And if you guys have one that um, that we are missing, we'd love to include it on that page. So I'll uh, link to the our events page up here where you guys can find out about events and then scroll down to the bottom and enter in this form to let us know about anything that we're missing that we can add to the page to get out there and share with the community. Yep. And as Adam had asked me last week, you guys can subscribe. Two weeks ago. Was it two weeks ago? Two it was ago. two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Oh. We're way out of Christmas now. Oh my gosh. Christmas it was two, two weeks, weeks ago. Wow. Where's the time going? I know. Um, you guys can subscribe to the Google Calendar there on the page. Click this blue plus button in the lower right corner, and then it can be added to your calendar. Yep. And then you can, you'll suddenly see all of the overland events throughout the year. Just like this. And then you can like find all the fun stuff to go to. So that is that. Again, link to check it out. Boom or boom. And um, I think that wraps it up for that, and that takes us to the question of the week. So, question of the week. So, um, Adam, <clears throat> I have to ask you. Yes. What is re gearing? So, when you lift your vehicle and you put taller tires on it, you have, uh, most of you that have not re geared your axles before have probably noticed that you have less power, uh, worse fuel mileage, and the vehicle just in general feels sluggish, possibly even off road. Mm -hmm. So, to counter the taller tires, you actually change your uh, gear ratios in your axles front and rear on the vehicle if it is a four-wheel drive vehicle. And what that does is it gives you uh, the power that the vehicle originally you know, had with these small tires and uh, you get some fuel mileage back as well. And you know, if you don't end up re-gearing your axles and you just run around on taller tires, there's a hidden factor there that a lot of people don't think about and that is heat in your transmission. A good mm. example of that is if you have a 10-speed bicycle and you start off in the highest gear, well, it's harder to push that vehicle down the road and to move your own weight. Mm -hmm. Thus, you start sweating, which means your body is heating up because you're working harder. 
And if you don't change your axle gears uh, in your vehicle, it's kind of a similar situation where your transmission heats up even more, which can lead to you know longer you know uh, longer life expectancy of the transmission and potentially you mean, you mean overheating redu your transmission. You mean reduced life expectancy. Reduced life expectancy for your transmission, essentially. Yeah. So regearing a vehicle is definitely something that you want to look into if you have gone to taller tires that. Uh, you know, essentially really affected your power and your fuel mileage. And if you have an automatic transmission, you know, either a transmission cooler, which is a bit of a Band-Aid, gears are the actual solution. Um, but you want to make sure that you're not overheating your transmission if you're turning taller tires, because it is a mm. lot harder on those kinds of things. Gotcha. Um, you know, and then of, of course, you know, vehicle braking comes into that. When you have lower gears and you can downshift, uh, makes it a little bit easier to slow down your vehicle as well, since you have added weight to it. Um, mm. So it is one of those important factors that is often overlooked in the off-road community if you don't, you know, regear your axles. So it is something that I highly recommend. Uh, so just real quick, so is there's no other type of regearing that people typically do. There's not like different transmissions people do. It's it's the changing out the parts and the differential, changing out those mm -hmm. gears is what. It's a lot easier to change out axle gears than it is an entirely different transmission with a different final drive ratio. Yeah. Uh, so really, the the solution to taller tires on a vehicle is changing out your axle gears. Fantastic. So how what are the warning signs that people would no, you touched on this some already. What are the warning signs that you're like, okay, I might need to re-gear? Um, generally, a transmission that's you know either running hot, shifting funny, that kind of stuff. If you're overheating the transmission, it's you know generally not going to last very long. Um, sluggish another, on takeoff. And sluggish that kind on of... takeoff. Uh, you know, not being able to um, you know get the vehicle up to speed as easily, and or losing your overdrive in your transmission. When I say losing it. Uh, if you're turning a super tall tire, your engine is thus turning lower RPM. However, at, on the highway, you know, at highway speeds, uh, it may not be shifting into the highest gear because it's working so hard to turn those taller tires. Gotcha. Now, is this something people would also want to do just by adding more accessories and having it loaded down with lots of weight and that kind of thing or pulling a trailer? Yeah, what you want to do is when you're selecting uh, which ring and pinion ratio to get based on the size of your tires, you also generally want to compensate for all of the weight that you may have added to the vehicle. For example, bumpers, gear on the inside, a rooftop tent, a winch, heavier suspension, heavier tires. A lot of people don't count for that extra weight uh, that they have added to the vehicle, thus cho choosing a ratio that may not be optimal for the tire size that they have. Gotcha. And there are calculation charts out there on the internet to help you select which gear ratio is best based on your tire size and your vehicle model and make. So now we're moving on to our next segment, Broad Gear Releases. And a week ago, we released the Trail Creeper, which is basically an off-road kind of mat that you can lay on. It's got a ton of different uses. I own two of them. I love them. Like, I don't know how I live without them before. I keep yeah. both in the Jeep. They're super compact. They fold up into basically like four sections. Uh, it's perfect to use off-road as something to lay on. You can hook multiple mats together. Hmm. Uh, you can use it as a firewood tote. You can use it as a sleeping pad. Yeah. You can eat it if you're really hungry. That's absolutely not actually true. So moving on to the next thing. This is our drum roll. It's getting worse. Oh my God. All right, that's enough. That was good. Okay. Maybe yeah. try maybe try a trumpet next I, I, time. Do I need another drum roll or are you going to announce the next segment? No, I think you should try a trumpet or a trombone or... <laughs> Only you would nail that in your own way. <laughs> so anyways, so uh, the announcement for the winners from last week, we actually decided to We didn't to even say weekly giveaway. I was waiting for you to say weekly oh, giveaway. Oh, weekly giveaway. That's what the drum roll was for. Oh, sorry. Okay. I messed that up. All right. So we're doing a weekly giveaway. That may work. No, but let, if you it know doesn't... what? Let's, we're not going to edit. Let's just keep on rolling because this is already all messed up. We might as well just run it on home. Gooberific. Yep. I, I feel like we should get so, a different one just in case. Weekly giveaway. Okay. And uh, so last week we actually decided to do three winners. We were going to only give away one bag. And I believe that was the Merlot trip planning bag. I'm sorry. Yep. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. So we decided, since we had a couple of extra bags left over, we decided to give away three. So we actually have three lucky winners 
this week. And one of them is our friend Burt Garrison. We recently did a uh, YouTube walk around video of his amazing Jeep J20. Yes. Congrats, Burt. You have a bag heading your way. Yep. And then on you, on Facebook, yep. then we had Ben Wood. Hey, congrats, Ben. I think you're like a double winner. I think you're a double winner, man. I think man. you need to stop winning. You I think lucky gonna, dog. Yeah. We're just, you know, you know what? We'll just send you a bag a week. How about that? <laughs> Since you're apparently winning every week. And then on Instagram. Oh, and then we have another winner on Instagram, D Stan SB. And I think believe we have already contacted you. I think her name was Deborah. Okay. So congrats, Deborah. We already contacted you and you have got a bag on the way. So congrats to all three winners. And you never know where we're gonna give away just one thing or multiple. You never know. You never know. But regardless, everybody wins at some point. All right, so this week, Ooh. show off what we're giving away. We have a Coyote mesh front packing cube. So we make clear front and mesh front pack packing cubes. The difference between the two is the mesh are four inches deep, whereas the clear fronts are only two and a half inches deep. You can fit a lot of gear in this. I use these to pack clothes into two of these packing cubes. I can fit two weeks worth of clothes. I roll my shirts, roll my pants, roll my socks. Yep. They're fantastic for packing clothes. Ton of other uses as well, CT. I, you have I'll your show you. One. I'll show you how I how I use a bagging cube. Mm -hmm. I'll throw up the image right here of it in my car. But I hang this on the back of my seat, and I've got an inverter, jumper cables, and Ooh, and an compressor. air compressor in here. Ooh, you like fancy. a whole bunch of stuff, and my tire repair kit. There's a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, so it's like I probably maybe need to go to two soon. But like you could fit so much stuff in here, and because mm -hmm. because of the high quality materials like it's not like a thin packing cube like you can use it for utility like this yep so it's amazing i'm probably gonna hook two on my back seat to hold like everything out of my trunk because i like fill the back of my car with film gear and you stuff. a lot like, of stuff i don't like like all these random literally things just like bouncing all around and moving all around so yeah, nobody likes literally things i love this um i attach it to the back with these two grim locks so it just hangs on there like that. You can also attach them this way. Mm -hmm. You could attach right to the, the poles of your headrest um, if you wanted to. Yeah, if you have Grimlocks or carabiners. Carabiners or something like easy that. Easy way to do but, that. Yeah. Yeah, but there's so much room for activities inside of our packing cubes. You can check them out on our website, blueridgeoverlandgear.com. You're laughing about the so much room for activities. <laughs> <laughs> That's true though. Right. You've got 12 right. by 12 by four. I, it's yeah, perfect. Well, I... So needless to say, we're giving one of those away this week. So. To enter to win, drop uh, a comment below and tag three friends, whether that's on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, tag three friends and you will be entered to win one of our mesh packing cubes as well as one of our Blue Ridge Everyone Gear winter patches. If you're on YouTube, also give us your Instagram handle so we can reach out to you. Yes, some kind no, of way to contact you. No, there's gotta be some way to contact you. Yep. As always, let us know what you thought and uh, leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you what? Was let, that English? Let us know what you thought. Oh, okay. I, I stepped over that one a little yeah. bit. I'm talking really fast right okay. now. That's fine. Anyways, leave a comment, a question, any kind of information you have below, and we will certainly answer your questions, comments, etc. And as always, we are going to sign off this week. I am Adam. And I'm CT. That's CT. You stay classy, Overlander. That's mine. You were well, you didn't use it. Hey, if you were a hot dog and you were starving, would you eat yourself? I know I would. I'd smother myself in relish and mustard. I'd be so delicious. <laughs> That's Harry Carey. You didn't I get the reference. You're not old enough. I don't know Harry Carey. Ah. Harry Carey, the famous I baseball. Hope that's, I hope that's not a woman. The famous baseball announcer. Oh. Yeah, he passed a few years ago. He's a great guy.